But now we're back with the recording. We'll see which two of my working theories are correct. If either are correct. About the Somnium earlier. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Boop! <laughs> nah! Of course, since you and Iba are one and the same, it's <laughs> like you saved her, Date. But also, since we're, that was just a dream, she's still dead. So. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Yeah. Just... Saving her insomnium won't save her now. Yeah, said that I'm already. I'm sorry. Yeah, I already said that. Did the, did the CSI team report anything? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but... That warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. Wait a minute. Wow, how did I not put it together? It's Okiura Fishery. I.e. Renju Okiura? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why I didn't put it together earlier. And it would make sense for him to have a fishery since he owns a sea-based mermaid cafe. So that's not too out of their own possibility yet. I know. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? Searching. Can we get a get an arrest warrant for So? Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Then what's the fucking point of it? Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was So. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. What's the point? Um, excuse me. What's the point of the sinkers? If what we find is inadmissible in court. What is the point of my fucking job? I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. Shut up. The boss standing there. Like, what is the point of us then? Why did you kill Sho call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. What is your alibi for Shoko's murder? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? <laughs> Reading a book at home. Aha! I thought you were at a mahjong parlor. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. Oh, no, 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 no. He was playing mahjong at the time of Iris' murder is what he said. They will confirm that for you. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. But they're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. That's true. So you killed Iris, didn't you? I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I don't remember exactly what I said. Oh, boss, come on. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Boss. It is impossible to determine now. Boss, you fucking suck. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. Boss, you fucking suck. You're fired. I'm boss now. No, he still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? Boss, come on, I was counting on you. The investigation team is calling. This is Date from Abyss. What happened? Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. It's now a good time. Not really. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The one at Ariake? Warehouse District? Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. What the fuck do you mean, it's not there? What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. What the fuck do you mean you didn't find any bodies? Okay, does that mean there was someone that was there when we were there? There, there would have to be someone there that, that when we were there. Or someone that... Oh, I don't know. Like, uh, he had to have seen the body. 
So then he probably drove home and called one of his goons to go pick it up and take it away. Yeah, what the fuck do you mean? What do you mean there's no body? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where's the body, guys? Where is the body? Yeah, we looked everywhere, but nothing. Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. No. There's another possibility. There is? Where the fuck are you going, Date? You want to fill in the rest of the class, bro? Wait, what? Iris. W what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? What are you doing not being dead? Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Um, something wrong? The world... changed. Wait. Fuck, since we saved her from getting stabbed in Somnium, that means she didn't get stabbed IRL. What? 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 But. That can't be. It clearly is. We saw her being dead. We called it in. But since we since she didn't get stabbed in the Somnium. What the fuck? Then sinking his. What? Because we saved her, like yeah, we saved her insomnia. I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. Does it? She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Well, she's yeah. Maybe the dream changed reality. Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. All right. Let like, I hate how we have to re-fucking examine everything in every area we go to. Are we allowed to... Are we allowed to fail that sequence? No. Oh. Shelves. Ah, uh, we might be able... We might be allowed to. Bags hung up on the racks. They're filled with... Whips! Wait, what happened to your masks? A tombstone. Rip. Boss is trying to Mario. If only money rained down from the sky. Mario? Boss is trying to Mario. Okay then. <laughs> Our remote control car. <sighs> if only I could control you with a remote. Make you do this, make you do that. Oh, a little of this and a little of that, eh? An RC car. It's a volleyball. A soccer ball. I've been wondering, which balls are bigger? Yours? Or this soccer ball? Mine. The soccer ball, obviously. A soccer ball. I never exam- I didn't even know I could examine the broom. There were so many times I could examine broom. A broom is leaning against the wall. A cabinet. It's a tanuki statue. I can't believe it's not a raccoon. What? Nah. Uh, it's not a raccoon? Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. Electronic darts game. So the darts board has all these holes, and the tip of the dart goes in, right? Yeah. It's kind of sexual, don't you think? Yeah. I do not understand. What is sexual about it? You don't want to know. Electronic darts game. A pumpkin carved like a jackal. Where should I put old Jack here? I thought his name was Bill. Ah. <laughs> A pumpkin. Happy birthday. <laughs>
day to you. Ah, that song used to be copyrighted, you know? But now it's public domain and I can sing it to my heart's content. Don't you love it? I mean, you could have always sung it to your heart's content as long as you didn't record it and sell it for profit. A uh, happy birthday banner decoration. A bookshelf. It has a ton of things stuffed in it. Least of which books. Boss's chair. You know, the kanji for chair comes out to strange mushroom. Unlikely. Makes me think of a man's strange mushroom, if you know what I mean. Seriously, is that the only thing you can think about right now? Boss's chair. We should go skiing. Hmm? That was out of nowhere. Is that a no? Of course it is. We're in the middle of an investigation. What? You don't want to go night skiing on my bunny hills? He absolutely does. I will not allow such scandalous behavior. I was just kidding. What are you, jealous? Ha <laughs> ha! Skis. Oh. A snowboard. A police poster. I put a back door curtain. A boy band poster. I sleep with a different one every night. They're so fluffy. Oh, body pillow. Ah, uh, a boy band poster. <laughs> a stationary bike. A symbol. It's a floating. Consider it a good luck charm. So you don't drown when you sink. I hate you, boss. A triangular ruler. Did you ever used to play with these rulers like a gun when you were in elementary school? Yes. I don't know. I don't have any memories from back then, remember? A triangular ruler. It's a floaty. Merry Christmas. It's November. Close enough. I decorated a Christmas tree. That's been here since the first time I was in this room. <laughs> A plaster figure. There's a lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. None of it is coats. Oh, well, shears mask is displayed on grandpa, the wall. Grandpa, answer me, Grandpa. I'm really worried about her mental health right now. I'm a shears mask is displayed on the wall. I'm a shears mask is displayed on the wall. There's a pendant adorning the wall. Alright. I think... A matryoshka. Hey, Date, who's cuter? The matryoshka or Iba? The matryoshka. The first one. I will carve out your insides and turn you into a matryoshka. Cool. A matryoshka. Big key. It's a large key. The entrance. Alright, so... We'll actually see what happens if we fail that sequence. I don't think we can. Sinking in the villain. Ah. I get it. Every time we sink, it's gonna be in a word that has AI in the middle, or somewhere in the middle, and the everything's gonna be caps except for AI. Uh, um. I get it. So, so let's see. I saved my progress. Yes. Yep. Now we're all the way over here. Yeah, there was only there was only one route to take here. No branching paths here yet. But let's see what happens if I fail. Just out of your curiosity. I think it'll just say return to title screen or something. Like you give us the option to retry from a checkpoint, completely restart it. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. 
I will be right back. That's fine. I'm failing this anyway. Bonus stage. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Ah. Yeah. Yeah. How many combos was that? It's not a fighting game. <laughs> a Street Fighter reference. Love it. A warehouse door. Shut up! You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. It's an easy way to fail. One minute it. left. Saved. I will also be right back. Alright. Which one am I gonna I gotta load this one? Yeah, now that I got my room clean, we can actually set up that second monitor now though. All the stuff we went through in our last session. Anyway, okay. So let's talk to myself. I'm in Iva's line of sight. Aw, oh, boring. A dream changing reality? It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? If I'm sinking with somebody who is intentionally killing somebody, you probably... If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? Okay, Iba, uh... If you want to be so fucking snarky and smarmy, what's your excuse? But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Within Mizuki Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. Yeah. It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? How about the Okira fishery? I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras, the same Okiuras we know. 
Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. What? Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. But it can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. Tell me more about the Okira fishery. I would suggest searching the warehouse again. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. I know why she was resurrected, you dumb eyeball. Tell me more about Renju, you fucking clown. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Yeah. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please, come to Bloom Park's merry ground right away. There are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju? Where did you go? Do you know where Renju is, Aiba, for us to talk to him? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? Yeah. It is possible she may have something for you by now. I asked Moma for information too. But I had to promise him a meeting with Iris. Moma can wait for now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. Where is Iris now? Still at home? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Oh. Iba jumped out of my eye socket. A dream... Boss, what can you tell me about dreams changing reality? Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium. Yeah. And that changed the history of the real world? Yeah, apparently. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know. I do know. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I have a shut up. You don't know. Anyway, I, know. I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Cool. Why? How about prophetic dreams, though? Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. Yeah, why the fuck was it that, Iba? must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Boss's knack for change is one of her good qualities. Not having belief is what she believes in. That's how she established herself as a major player in the police department. Because she believed what she wanted to. So about so. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so-called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okiura Fishery Warehouse last night. But he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was an Iris's Somnium. Dreams are constructed from memories. Wait. So was an Iris's Somnium. What? Why do games do this? I don't know. Text. Iris was in So Somnium. Correct. Because we went into So Somnium. Right. Voic voiced. So was an Iris's Somnium. So was an Iris's Somnium. Incorrect. How do you fuck that up? Yet the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Where's So now? Probably at home. I sent him home yesterday. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you did. You released him? What was I supposed to do? We can't hold him without solid proof. 
What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. There are four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Let's get moving. Many avenues of investigation indeed. Boss is sitting on the desk. That's a, whew, that's a lot of avenues of investigation. And that's going to be something for tomorrow. So, tell that everybody next time.